Hi, my name is Devin from T-Equipment. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between the FLIR C2 and FLIR C3 cameras. So the FLIR C2, which I have right here in my hands, is a lovely ruggedized 80 by 60 pixel camera that's great for any professional who needs to use this in the field. It's been drop tested. You're not going to have to worry about breaking it. You could, you could lose it off the roof. I don't recommend it, but it is sturdy. So the 80 by 60 sensor on this camera is going to be good for residential inspections, light electrical inspections, and doing home energy audits, among other thermal applications. The C2 starts right now at $499, and the new version, the C3, is $699. Now, the C3 is also an 80 by 60 pixel array, so you're going to have very similar images, but the C3 has a couple of features which make it a little bit more useful. The first of which is the fact that this camera is Wi-Fi enabled. So you can take an image and then transfer it to your smartphone, open up the FLIR Tools app, and then you can remotely access your C3 image library as on-site for instant reporting. So you can take an image, send it to your supervisor, and just have uh, immediate action teams ready to go for whatever thermal problem you discover. The other features of the C3, which are going to make it a little bit different, are some image measurement modes. This camera is going to have a hot spot indicator or a cold spot indicator and an image mode that allows you to do picture in picture. So the C3 is the newer version with Wi-Fi and it'll do those area measurements and picture in picture whereas the C3, C2 is really the legacy model but it does come in at a little bit more affordable for $499. Both are great cameras. I highly recommend them both. So here's the C3, and it's actually exactly the same as the C2 right now. You see you got that center spot. All right now I'm looking at a breaker. It says it's about 35 degrees C, but everything inside of that crosshair is what it's averaging the temperature of. What if I wanted to see the hottest point in the screen. Here you can see how the area measurement features of the C3 make it a little bit more useful. As now I can narrow it down about 35 and a half. Alternatively, I can do cold. Not really what we're looking for in a breaker box, but it would be good if you're looking at a, a door jam or a windowsill, make sure it's well sealed. And then you can use the picture-in-picture -picture mode to get a better sense of reference within the breaker box and then capture an image for later troubleshooting. So that's the difference between the FLIR C2 and C3. Again, my name's Devin. And thank you for visiting us here at T-Equipment. If you have any other technical questions or you need assistance selecting the right camera for your application, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We have thermographers on staff ready to help you.